Rotterdam is ideally situated to study econometrics. Uh, Rotterdam, it's a port city, uh, so lots of questions related to the harbor are exactly the questions that can be solved with econometrics. So this is a field where we well, have close contacts, uh, work narrowly together to well, see what we can do there, what we can learn from practice. Uh, but it's not limited to just logistics and the harbor of Rotterdam. It's more, there are plenty of big companies that have offices in Rotterdam, uh, so contacts are close, companies are nearby. Uh, my name is Erik Kolen. Uh, I'm working here now for 10 years as an uh, assistant professor in financial econometrics. And since three years, I'm coordinator of the bachelor programs in econometrics that we have. I found the lecturers to be really inspiring and really absorbed in what they were uh, yeah, researching or doing themselves. Um, and this really came out throughout it during the lectures and really encouraged you to want to learn the things they were teaching. My name is Christian Horizer. I'm from the Netherlands and I've just finished studying the Bachelor in Econometrics and Operations Research. What I enjoy most about this program at the Erasmus School of Economics is that it's really small scaled. In the first year we started with a group of about 80 students, all from different countries. About half of the students was from uh, the Netherlands, but the other half came from countries such as uh, China, India, Italy, Russia, anyway, from various countries across the world. And it was really interesting to get to know all these people. And because the group was so small, within a few weeks, we all uh, knew each other and actually became friends and a pretty close group. And I actually got to know a few of my best friends in this course, in this program. Because we're such a close group, it actually makes studying together more fun. My name is Cynthia. I was born in Taiwan, but I grew up in the Netherlands. And I'm currently a second year student at econometrics. Once I decided on econometrics as a study, finding the university was actually not so difficult. Um, firstly, there are not that many universities that offer econometrics as a bachelor program. And then there's the fact that Erasmus is renowned for its leading econometrics program, uh, which is basically why it was quite easy to choose Erasmus in the end. If you look at the program that we have in uh, econometrics, uh, this is basically built in two or perhaps three phases. First of all, in year one and part of year two, you start with the foundation. So you have to learn new mathematical techniques, you get courses in statistics, uh, you get courses in IT, so how to program, how can we use computers to help us in solving all kinds of issues. Uh, you also get courses in economics to make sure that you have a good foundation of all of these fields. After that, uh, we moved towards really econometric and operations research applications. So how do we use these mathematical techniques, statistical techniques to solve actually problems in economics and in business? And in your third year, this is where you really have room for specialization. First of all, uh, you can make a choice between following a minor, an internship or an exchange. And in the second half of the third year, there is room for really an in-depth specialization in the form of a major. Um, and then you can think whether you want to apply uh, uh, the knowledge that you have more in the direction of finance, of marketing and business analytics, operations research and logistics, or econometrics in a narrow sense aimed at the macroeconomy. Several professors we have at the Erasmus School of Economics work for the Dutch railway operator, the NS. And uh, the last block, in one of the cases, in the logistics case, we actually worked on an NS case where we looked for the optimal allocation of train stocks in the Netherlands. And it was really interesting because we all take the train once in a while and we never really think of all the problems that uh, occur when people take the train, uh, for example, that. Uh, delays cause big problems or that a shortage of seats can cause big problems, things like that. And it was really interesting to work on a problem like this. Firstly, the, the class sizes are, are a good size, they're not too big, which makes, it, which makes the lectures really interactive and dynamic. And I think that's really important when you're learning a subject. Um, yeah, mainly because you should be able to discuss with your fellows and also with the lecturer at hand during the session. I found the, the course to be really well structured. So I really like this block system of having blocks of eight weeks throughout the year. 
where you have your exams at the end of each block. Uh, this keeps the whole academic year and each year really organized and clear of what you're doing and where your goals are at. We have a guidance system, in particular in year one. Uh, it means that uh, you get uh, in a small group a mentor and he will advise you on all kinds of issues, so how to study here, what to expect, how to prepare for tests. Uh, so you have regular meetings uh, with him or her. Most of the time this is a second or a third year student, so this student can tell you from his or her own experience how it is to study econometrics here and how to succeed. One other great thing about this university is that it's part of the Erasmus program. Uh, in this program you can go on exchange to another university from all over the world. There's a lot of different partner universities um, that are partnered with Erasmus University. In my case, I went to Milan, Italy, where I got to study courses at Bocconi, which was another great experience. Um, aside from this, I met tons of different people from all over the world. It was really cool. Uh, and I got to share the great Italian food with them, endless amounts. Uh, we went to loads of different cities, discovered the Italian culture and yeah, overall this is a really enriching experience and I think several or many of those friends that I met will become or are now going to be friends for life. I really wanted to go on exchange. My sisters actually both also went on exchange. One of them went to Shanghai and the other one went to Seoul. So um, I chose to go to Beijing and after summer I will be starting my semester at Peking University where I hope to get to know more about the Chinese culture because I think China is really an interesting country to know about. As I am from Taiwan, I uh, also hope to learn about differences within Asia. Um, internships are quite popular with our students. They are based at the company, see how things work. Uh, they are uh, really well integrated into the company in day-to-day -day business. Uh, so they get a good view of what this company does and the company also gets a good view of them and can decide, oh yeah, this is an interesting student, uh, perhaps I would like to make him or her an offer. And very often we see that even before they graduate, students already know where they start their career because they already have a job offer. Now that I've finished my study in econometrics, my next plan is to go to London for a year now. Uh, to study a Master's in Applicable math Mathematics at the London School of Economics. Um, I've basically spent my whole life so far in Holland. I've grown up here and I've studied here all the time. Um, so now I'm ready to really spend a full year abroad and see what it's like to study a full program in a different country. Um, so I feel this is the right next step for me currently. In the past two years, I've been part of committees at the Faculty Association Factor. And uh, in my first year, I was part of the Freshman Committee, where we organized activities mainly for first year students. So, for example, we organized a uh, day trip to Amsterdam to get to know the Dutch culture. And uh, in my second year, I was part of the Lustrum Committee. It gives you the opportunity to uh, not just organize activities, but it comes with a lot of things, for example, working in a team and you also, get to, uh, you also get to know other students, not only your own classmates, but also students from other years. So aside from the societies and things uh, within Erasmus, the city was also great. Uh, it was probably one of the best parts is that you could just go with friends and do different things. For example, this, the Crowlings of Plus, which is uh, it's a big lake with lots of grass around it and it was just fun in the summertime and when it was sunny to go there, chill with friends, sit, have a drink, relax and enjoy the atmosphere. Um, but aside from that, in the nighttime there's so much going on every night throughout the week. Uh, different parties, different clubs, different bars, different restaurants, cafes. Um, so it's a really social place out there to to hook up with your friends or to meet new people even. Our staff is, is, is really well a combination of really truly experienced people who have been here for 30 or 40 years and have been teaching with a lot of pleasure, but also an inflow of new, uh, well, enthusiastic colleagues who come from all over the world uh, and think that Rotterdam is actually the place uh, where uh, they can, well, make the best of their career. I'd say within the course, the students around me, uh, I was really impressed with. So they'd come from all different backgrounds. I, of course, had only grown up with 
the people I met at my school and so meeting all of them it was like really impressive to see all these different people with all this great knowledge they had to share.